What's up, zombie slayers? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is Cage848, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. So, um, I was planning to do a building video today, and we are going to do some building today, but I'm going to split it up into one quest, and then we'll do a bunch of building. It should be a lot of fun. Um, as you can see here, I have my steel club, which is absolutely phenomenal. I also took the knight and went ahead and did a bunch of wrenching, and I'm up to almost a stack of electrical electrical parts. Now, selling these wouldn't be a bad idea, but I need them for so many things that I, you know, I'll sell them, but I'm going to keep a few hundred uh, around because you, you, literally, you literally need them for like everything. But I did go ahead and wrench. I made myself a ratchet. It's the best ratchet I could make. It is way better than the wrench I was using before. Let's get out and do some quests. Um, I did spend some time mining as well. I've got some a bunch of stuff being made, and I have a very specific item being made which I'm going to be uh, building with today. And I don't know why I'm being so cagey about it, because you're probably going to be seeing it on the thumbnail or like, you know, at least in the title or something. So, um, yeah, I'm going to build, I'm going to build around my base chain link fence. Now, here's my thoughts on chain link fence. It's kind of useless from a defensive standpoint. Well, not kind of, it's pretty trash, honestly. They're going to break through it in like two seconds. But uh, the thing is, like, I think for the kind of hordes that are, that are going to come at me, it'll probably be okay. I'm going to put up a chain link fence around the entire base and then two rows of spikes. Should be able to, you know, protect me from pretty much anything the game's going to throw at me. Uh, they don't really throw much at your main base in this game. Uh, they usually throw it at your horde base on horde night. I might get a roaming horde here and there. I might get a screamer every once in a while. But for the most part, I think a chain link fence and two rows of spikes will be fine. And the chain link fence, again, is, is very just, <laughs> it's very weak, but it's going to look cool. The only thing I'd like to do with the chain link fence is I'd like to find some barbed wire to put on top, but I don't see any barbed wire you could put on top of the chain link fence. Although I have seen barbed wire on builds in the game. Can someone tell me in the comment section, uh, is there like a barbed wire and what I want, I want the chain link fence. And then on the top, I want there to be the, the barbed wire, like, you know, like it's, I don't know, fed through the, like in a circular pattern. You know what I, you know what I'm talking about, right? Um, if that's possible, let me know if I have to go into the cheat menu and get it, I will. And anytime I go into the cheat menu in this game, it's only for uh, it's only for cosmetic things. And then what I do is I'll throw some iron away to make up for it. I pretend I crafted it. Uh, so if I can find that stuff, I'll probably put it up there. If not, then so be it. And uh, we'll just uh, you know just go from there. I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be a cool looking build. Maybe not the most effective thing in the world, but um, you, know, you don't really need that at your at your main base. Like so, shouldn't be a problem. I'd also like to get I want to get some freaking blue armor, man. I want to get some blue armor. I'm sitting here chopping trees and I'm like wrenching stuff and I'm like, I'm mining and I'm like, I want the armor set for these things, but I don't want to make a green one. I'm so close to a blue one. So, um, did this respawn? You think this respawned? No. I don't know. I don't think so. Day 17. That's not possible, right? Is it 30? Um, I left it on default. Yeah, this hasn't respawned. I didn't think so. All right, cool. Fair enough. I think I left it on default. What's the default respawn in this game? I don't know. I don't even look at it because I, I don't usually like loot things twice. So, all right, this is a tier four infestation quest, and it's forever video. All right, let's do it. Probably should have double dipped a little bit, but that's okay. Not the end of the world. Oh boy, you can just go run in an infestation, man. You could do that in a regular one, but not an infestation. Okay. I love this club, by the way. <laughs> it's freaking dope. It does take up more stamina, though. But so far, it has not been a problem. When I went to um, loot during the... Or I was doing the wrenching during the night, I had to fight a bunch of zombies during the night. And um, it was pretty much just uh, devastation with this thing. Although sometimes I did get low on stamina. Oh, also, I found two advanced parts, and I'm so sorry about that. I didn't think to record it because I didn't think I would get them. But I there was like an it's weird because there was an end loot, and then I opened it up, and then there was two advanced parts, but there was like a tier one POI. So I guess a, maybe maybe we should be running tier ones over and over from the trader. I don't know. But um yeah, it was uh sorry I didn't loot it. I honestly didn't think it was gonna be anything uh special. So Hey, what's going on, bud? I guess I could do some wrenching while I'm, while I'm here. Oh, that's going to take forever. Oh, steel. Okay. Yeah, people are telling me about these to get the steel. Two steel, three steel, four steel. I don't think I can wrench these. 
Yep, I didn't think so. I figured I would get hurt there, but I figured it was also worth a try. Okay, so yeah, there's electrical parts. Very good. All right. All right, doing some work here. I think you can even wrench uh, these pole, these pipes. Yeah, look at that. You can pretty much wrench everything. There you go. Stay down. Open sesame. Okay. That's. That's locked. Let's go ahead and grab this and loot this. And then take that apart. This one's a good one for parts, man. For the electrical parts, you get a lot for a very small amount of time. What do I get for this? I don't remember. Oh, but that didn't blow up. All right, doggo, let's do it. Oh, look at this jumpy guy. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Not doing too good here. Okay. Right. Where am I supposed to go? I guess in here. And what do we have here? Okay. See. See this bar. Oh, I could probably do that barbed wire, can I? I really want the the like curled barbed wire, but that wouldn't be too bad, I guess. I don't know why I didn't scrap that. Uh, I could definitely scrap that as well. I've got, like, probably 200, like, freaking pipes back at home. Good. Looking good. There's a lot of good stuff in here to grab. And it, once I get better at, like, tools and stuff, it'll, like, I'll be able to one-shot this stuff, and then it'll be really good. Sometimes I right-click and do that. Right click and do that. And now we loot the cabinets. Gotta make sure to loot the cabinets, guys. I'm getting seriously low on food. Now there's a there's a major way to get food in this game. Actually, it's more like for water, but um you could use it for food as well. You can make yucca smoothies, but you have to go get blueberries and um yucca and you have to like farm and stuff. And I'm trying to do this season without farming. Why am I doing trying to do this season without farming? I don't know. I just I want to try. Although I will farm with the stuff I already have, but I won't. I'm not going to go crazy on living off the land. And you're done. There goes your knee. There goes your face. Oh darn it! The heck! That's what you get. Bad. Go ahead and scrap that. I don't want to throw anything down. I can make a recipe with that. I could scrap that. Um, am I ever gonna farm in this series? I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to the seeds, thinking I might farm, but I won't like like I said I won't I won't do like big farming. Like I won't do like uh, I'm not gonna put points to living off the land and really go crazy, but I will throw down the seeds that I already have. Okay, looks like we're getting pretty bogged down here. Um, I should probably break through this and go drop stuff off in my, my vehicle. I was just going outside to drop some stuff off, and then I realized there's two cop cars here, maybe three. Is that the Butcher Pete's I've done? So I broke into... Um, okay, so I'm pretty sure I broke into that cop car and this cop car, and there was only two here. And then when I started the quest, that also goes into the police station, which is kind of weird. Uh, it respawned these two cop cars. So I will be breaking into them um, at some point before I leave, unless I forget. Which I very well might, but I'll try not to. Alright, one shotting is definitely worth it. Nothing in there. Oh, there's the there's the end loot. Hold on, let's see what this gives me. Alright, one shot, I like that. Where's all the zombies? Oh, there's a there's another way in there, isn't there? Okay. Uh but how? How? Maybe I gotta come out here? Oh, here we go. There we go. Yeah, I don't like this. Okay. 
Cool, cool. Nice spin move, lady. Color me impressed. How many points do I have? Yeah, I'll look at the points later. Um, yes. Uh, me likey. Oh, darn it. I'm supposed to pick that up. Yeah, I, I mechanical parts are important, but uh, the leather is is I feel harder to get. I don't know. Maybe it's not hard to get. I don't know. I want to get I want to get more leather. So I, I sacrificed two mechanical parts for four leather, basically. Damn, son. She got wrecked. Get wrecked, nerd. Take that. That's all good. Open that. Oh, this is a cool little, little room here, man. Not gonna lie. Uh, it doesn't matter. Tier twos get scrapped. Honestly, I should be scrapping tier threes as well. Oh man, I was hoping that would. Wait, what? I was hoping that was going to open these, but I guess I don't need to open them. I wonder if I'm supposed to break through them. All right. Do I have a thing in there? No, I don't. Should I get rid of one of these for this? Oh, that's a tough call. I don't know. I already have one in there. Um, let's put it in here for now. I think what? Oh, maybe not. Uh, well, you know, it'd probably be worth it. Yeah, let's modify this out. Put that in there. When it all boils down to it, if I'm getting attacked by irradiated, I want my guns to be better than my melee. Yeah, I might try and melee through an irradiated set of zombies, but at the end of the day, the gun is going to, you know, save my life before anything else. Really? There you go. Oh, boy, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect the cop behind me. You blow up, buddy. I don't really care. Why am I shooting so much? I don't know. I, I really don't need to, but that's okay. I gotta shoot the gun sometimes. There we go. That one cop done exploded. Yeah, I'm just gonna pick up whatever. It's probably useful. <laughs> whatever it is, it's probably good for something. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up all of this stuff. And I'm gonna pay attention to this. This loot right here, because this is the infestation one. Yep, I definitely didn't use 118 rounds. So that was definitely, definitely worth it. I think those, um, you know, I think those infestation ones I did that weren't worth it, I just got unlucky. So, and I'm going to use the jailbreakers because I have two cop cars to break into on top of this thing right here. Did I loot all that? What? Oh, okay. I don't have any room. So I've broken these two cop cars and the loot inside. Also, this mailbox is reset. So let's go ahead and get some loot. This is a, this is a really good POI to do, by the way. Uh, yep. Yeah. Just, I mean, honestly, you get the two cop cars. It's like bonus, like, bonus loot. Like, really good bonus loot. Right. And uh, let's see what we get in the end loot. All right. Like that. I like that. The rest is kind of mid, but those two things alone make it worth it. Awesome. Ooh, what was that? The heck's your problem? Oh, really quickly, let me go ahead and read my magazines. Okay. Good. Good. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and turn this sucker in and see what we get for it. Tier 4 infestation. Great. Might be a good amount of dukes. Yeah, 3,300 dukes. That's not bad. That's not bad. Now let's see the rewards. You know, honestly, 10 grenades is a great, great reward. Oh, look at that. All right. So, hmm. Range mods, no. Battery bank, uh, shotgun crafting. You know, I might actually take the shotgun crafting and hope to get a good shotgun that I could use on Horde Knight. I know I'm not, I know I'm not specced into it, 
but I think it might be, see, a bundle of parts. Oh no, so it's parts to craft them. Okay, never mind. So we should probably just go with the concrete, I guess. Oh, this is some um, battery bank, huh? Let's go with the battery bank. If I didn't go with the battery bank, people would be very upset with me. <laughs> all right, there we go. Oh, can't hold everything. Oh, goodness, there's stuff falling all over the place. Okay, well, that's because I'm, <laughs> I'm, I got a lot of stuff on me. All right, well, let's drop some stuff off and see what we got from that battery bank thing. Uh, there we go, and it's away. There we go. Uh, what do I have for food? All right, steak and potatoes. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, let's go pick the stuff up we dropped. And we dropped the generator bank and wiring, books, and light bulbs. Okay, so. Okay. All right. There it is. The battery bank. I was like, wait, I got a generator. I want a battery bank. All right, so we got some. I actually like those light bulbs a bit, a lot. The relays are nice. The switch is, you know, kind of useful. Um, but this thing right here is the real prize. Although I don't know if they sell them or not. I don't. I don't normally try and buy them. Let's um. Let's take a look at his stuff really quick. I'm, I believe he's restocked. Uh, should we buy the steel? I should probably buy the steel, but I gotta wait and buy more important things. If he's rest, I'm pretty sure he just restocked. It was 17, 18, 19. I don't think I've seen this stuff. So I might have to go to all the traders. Uh, it's just gonna suck. I want, oh, wait, we can't buy anything. Okay, we can't buy anything because I don't have my glasses on me, but um, that crucible, I mean, I'm getting kind of close, but uh, knife, sharp sticks, uh, bow hunters, expression. There we go, tactical warfare I need. Um, it's the only one. Oh, of course. Of course he's got a freaking... I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I'm using the steel clubs I make. Wow. Yeah, see, I don't... I don't think there should be... I don't think blue items should be sold. I don't think they should be sold. I don't care how many points of whatever you have. Blue items should never be sold under any circumstances. Because uh, now we're getting kind of a little bit more towards alpha, you know. Oh, wow. I can make all these stuff. Now we're getting a little bit closer, you know, back towards alpha 21, which we were trying to get away from. All right, so he's he restocks on day 19, it said. So, um, how close am I to a motorcycle? I'm getting tired of driving all these traders with these with this slow ass mini bike. <laughs> yeah, not even close. I mean, we're getting close, but not not that close. Still need six more magazines. All right, guys, I'm still gonna do the building video today, but I think right now I am just gonna drive to all the traders and see what I can come up with. So I've already looked at trader wreck stuff. This is the second trader wreck that's way out here. I've already looked at his stuff, so let's look at it again together. Um, I definitely want those potatoes. I know that's like quite a lot of money, but potatoes are what I need for food, so I'm going to buy those potatoes. Um, I also, I'm not sure about the gatherer tarp. I'm getting a relatively decent amount of water right now, and I'm kind of trying to be careful with how much money I spend. So I'm going to hold off on that for the time being. Um, armor parts and sewing kits are interesting. Um, right here, we do have the Vehicle Adventures book. Yes, I am wearing my glasses, by the way. Uh, tools, harvesting, man. I mean, I want the auger, but eh, I'm not spending money on that right now. Uh, okay, so, yeah, I mean, like, this is, like, best in slot melee weapon endgame if you're doing sledgehammers, right? Um, a steel club quality 4 is only 42, 20, 43, 29. Like, I don't know, man. These, I know it seems weird, but like the prices on these seem a little off. I feel like that should be a lot more. Like I'm almost tempted to buy that instead of craft it. And here we are getting everything from the trader again. Now I do have points in the daring adventure, but even then, I don't think I don't think it should be selling blue stuff. So I'm just gonna reiterate that point. Um, I'm kind of tempted to buy these triple pocket mods. Um, let me see if I can make them uh, triple. You know, see, I can't make them. Yeah, you didn't find the schematic for them. I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to buy them. I think I'm going to hold off for now, though. Sake, what is it now? All right. Take it easy, buddy. Look, at this, look, it's best in slot. But I mean, except for, you know, legendary. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to leave him to it. Next time. I'll shoot you. Okay. Man, this guy needs to take it easy. All right. Let's hit Trader Jen next. Let's see what good old Trader Jen has. What do you got for me, Trader Jen? 
All right. Love and care. Um, more potatoes? Maybe. Uh, definitely buy some eggs. And for books, forge ahead. Absolutely. Uh, no, no. Yes. No, 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 no. Darn it. Not quite the stuff I need. Not quite. Pretty close, but not, not quite there. Uh, definitely by the cobblestone. I think we're okay on that stuff. Um, wait, another crucible. There's <laughs> freaking crucibles everywhere. All right. Uh, do I want to... No, nah, I'm going to leave that alone. What you got here? Damn, pump shotties. Mm-hmm. SMG? And look at solar banks. Wait, solar banks are... Such Oh, no, it's the solar pieces that go in the solar bank that it's a lot of money, right? I believe. Shotgun auto turret. You think one of these will be good enough for the uh, birds? I mean, that would really break the bank for me. That's the thing. But I don't really see anything else here that I care that much about. I'm going to be perfectly honest. So what would I buy if I wasn't going to buy more food stuff? I'm okay on food for now. Buy more steel. I don't know. Shotgun turret? You know, I'm going to try and deal with the birds with spikes. And in that case, let's go ahead and buy some steel. Let's buy 10. And then um, potatoes. And I guess we're just going to save our money. I mean, they'll, be, they'll be restocking in two days. So Back home, everything is organized. And here is all of the magazines I got out of mailboxes and throughout the quest line and stuff. So let's go ahead and put that on and read this. 75, 76, 78, 79, 80. Oh, ooh, that's the one I needed. Wait, no, that's all of them, right? Yeah, awesome. All right, we're going to make some armor sets today. Uh, we also have power attacks with clubs with 20% chance to ragdoll enemies. And that finished that one. So that means every time I kill something with a club power attack, I get all my stamina back. Uh, 67, 68, 69. I think that, yeah, that needs to get to 75 for the crucible. I'll have the crucible relatively soon. 50. There we go. And looking good. Okay, so we still need five more books for the, um, for the motorcycle. But everything else is looking really good now. Uh, let's just take a quick look through here. And we should probably spend some points too. Hold on a sec. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, what do I want to put my points into? Uh, for, so we want to go, we want to get, I think, honestly... Machine gunner and pain tolerance. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So there we go. We have to save some points for that. All right. So now that that's done, let's look through here. Harvesting tools. We're getting closer to that auger. Uh, that doesn't really matter. Uh, that is nice. I can make a better ratchet. Um, clubs. Getting closer to that. Better steel clubs. Machine guns. Getting closer to the M60. And armor. Look at that. That's freaking fantastic. That is fantastic. I love that. We're going to make some armor today, people. You know, I thought I was going to do a building episode today. You guys know by the thumbnail. So um, I don't think we're going to get the building today. I didn't think I'd be able to make my full armor set today. So, yeah, we'll have to do a building episode tomorrow, hopefully. Like I said, things change, guys. The, everything's in flux. I will uh, definitely do a building episode. Um, but it's not going to be today because now I want to do armor. All right, I'm excited now. Let's see how many armor thingies we have. 15, that's beautiful. Let's grab that, 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 that. Ooh, we are low on sewing kits. Hmm, that's, um, that's going to be a, that's interesting. I'm not really sure what I want to, do I want to go full raider armor or not? I don't think so. I think I just want to upgrade what I've already done. Okay, so kits. Four? Why? Oh, duct tape. Okay. That's fine. Duct shape. And I have some more being made in here. Some more glue. I'll just wait until that's all done. And we got all that duct tape being made. Let's uh, go ahead and make the kits. All right. Eight seems pretty good. Let's go ahead and raider. So what was my raider stuff? The raider was the helmet only. Okay. All right. So Raider Helmet. I'm going to have to do that in here. Uh, Raider Helmet. What am I missing? 
Uh, oh, I need steel for this. Okay. All right, that's going to be a problem. Nomad. Do I need steel for Nomad? Mother effer. Uh, I should just go buy more steel, I guess. Well, honestly, we're only one steel away from being able to make the whole set. No, Preacher doesn't take... Preacher stuff doesn't take steel. Okay, good. All right, so we don't have to worry about it. It was close. It was close. I got to get... See, the thing is, I want to do the building videos, but I also want to get the freaking magazines. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and look for magazines in this town. I'm going to look for mailboxes. I'm going to look for cracker books. And I'm not sure how I'm going to record it, but it will probably be at the beginning of next episode. And I'll just... I'll put it together in a way that's pleasing for you guys to watch. I'll just go through and just clip it or or do super speed or whatever. All right, Raider helmet. Um, leather and iron. Okay. Well, it takes a lot of leather. It's actually like one suit worth of stuff with the freaking leather. All right. Um, oh, fort. Come on, Cage, get the freaking forged iron. So the lack of steel is really killing me. And my lack of willingness to go wrench everything means I'm not getting a lot of steel. Um, I could buy more steel, but it's really expensive. And I feel like buying it is just, you know, Robin Peter to pay Paul. So steel is a problem. Also, armor crafting kits are a problem because I only have so many sewing kits. I got to start buying these every single time I see them. Um, I wanted to make a mining set of armor. I wanted to make a, ratchet, a wrenching set of armor. I can't do any of it because I don't have enough um, armor kits I can't make more armor kits till I can make sewing kits. Uh, and you can't make sewing kits as far as I understand. Uh, as far as going over here and looking for magazines, I think I'm going to go do that right now. And I'm just going to edit it into this video because honestly, I really want to go over there and do it. So um, I think it'll be pretty interesting. So let's come on over here and check out this town and see what we can find. I'm going to hit up this POI right here. Hopefully I'll find some of the stuff I am looking for. And hopefully I won't get killed. All right. Looks like someone's fast over there. Unfortunately for them, I'm faster. And more badass. Okay. I'm going to be very, very specific on what I loot here. I'm not going to be looting stuff like that. Uh, I'm looking for things that can have... Um... Oh, boy. All right. Got lucky there. I'm looking for boxes that will have things like um, Forge Ahead books and stuff of that nature. Got a few things to loot in here that could have some magazines. Um, not exactly the magazine I was looking for, but that's okay. Uh, we also have this. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Something like really. Oh, loot stage. That's right. I'm in the snow biome. Do I really want to loot everything? I mean, yeah, see, I need those. See, I don't want to loot everything, though. That's not what I'm here for. But, man, I just got something I really needed, so. I guess I'll loot mostly everything. Uh, we definitely want to loot this. This is the kind of thing that could have maybe some forge ahead or, you know, mag yeah, vehicle books. Maybe not so much forge ahead, I guess. Uh, what is that? Landmines won't dead. When you step on them, good. That will come in handy. So this is the kind of stuff I'm looking for right here. All right. Also, I'm looking for cracker books. Also, there's a lot of interesting things in this town. <laughs> I won't get to it all get to it all today, but uh, what else do we want to look at? I'm not really seeing anything. There's a lot of stuff here. Just I'm, I'm, where, where are the cracker books? Please, just give me one cracker book. That's all I ask for. So I did not see one cracker book in that town. I might have missed it. It was getting a little dark, so I'm not really sure. But this is what I came out with, and you know, it wasn't a it wasn't a bad run. It just wasn't as much stuff as I was hoping for. So let's go ahead and read. And this is Craft Flaming Arrows. Got it. Uh, this is temp damage uh, to coal and burnt wood. 10% more damage to coal and burnt wood. Okay. Oh, crap. I, I forgot to look at that one. Uh, no vehicles. 41. So here's the thing. Even if I get vehicles to where I need them to be... I don't know how I'm going to get enough steel to make a motorcycle. Let's see how... I don't know. Steel. Motorcycle. I wanted to look up motorcycle and I was looking up steel. So it would take... 37... Oh, that's not bad. Okay, you know what? Maybe I can... I'm probably going to buy a bunch of steel. 
<laughs> I guess. I just, you know, I just, I want to make it. I just want to make it. I'm trying, I'm trying really hard to not rely on the traders as much as I have in the past. But man, the game does not make it easy. I am really close. To, I'm not getting any, um, Forge Ahead books, though. That's a thing, so... All right, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm really sorry I didn't get to do a building video for you guys uh, today, um, but I'm thinking I will probably do one tomorrow. No promises. Like I said, I changed my. I got to roll with the punches of what this game gives me. So I might do a building episode next episode. I might not, but I'm kind of leaning towards one quest and then building, and we'll see how it goes. If you guys end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.